All right, peace, Baltimore. How are you? Fine. Fine. Peace. Oh, that's weak. <laughs> Baltimore, how are you? Fine. How are you? It's just over there. Not there. You moved your mouth all day long. No one's speaking. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate a couple of things that Jabari said in the uh, opening of this session, in the introduction. Specifically, he talked about healing. Healing is one of the major cornerstones of what I'm going to be talking about in my presentation this evening. But before I do, before I get started, uh, I want to take a moment to acknowledge the passing of two cornerstones within our community within the last two weeks. Uh, Benjamin Hooks on the 15th and uh, Dorothy Height uh, just right. last week. So can we have uh, a couple of moments of silence in honor of those freedom fighters and the work that they did to bring us to this point. All right, thank you very much. Now, what I want to do tonight is to talk about the importance of understanding the media, the psychological effect that the media has on the psyche of people who pay their money to sit down in the theater and allow someone to put thoughts, ideas, and images into their mind without question. So the issue that I want to raise, one of the issues that I want to raise is that we have to begin to become more selective when it comes to allowing people that we don't know to present information to us that we accept without, without thought. Because what they are doing are implanting ideas in our consciousness that affects us on an emotional and a psychological level and influence our behavior in so many, many ways. In other words, one of my aims of tonight's presentation is to underscore the importance, the need and the importance for us to become critical thinkers, to begin to exercise more judgment when it comes to what we listen to what we see, who we pay our hard-earned dollars to, because this media can be a vehicle for either liberating us or imprisoning our minds. I, I touched on this topic when I was here in February, February the 20th, and gave my presentation on, on Avatar. I started that lecture talking about Sister Angela Bassett who is uh, one of my favorite actresses. I, I, I like her work. She's good. I, I respect her as a, as a woman. And I, I reference the fact that Angela Davis and uh, Angela Bassett was first offered the role, the starring role, in, in Monsters Ball. And she turned that role down. And the reason she gave for turning that role down was that film is forever. You don't just make a movie, get paid, and that's the end of it. When you produce a film, that film will last forever. And it will affect generation after generation after generation. She read the script, and she said that she was tired of seeing black women, our women, depicted as prostitutes and whores. And she wasn't going to contribute to that madness. She made a bold decision. She made a wise decision. Unfortunately, Halle Berry didn't. And as a consequence of her choice, people who have invested millions of dollars into seeing to it that we don't rise up as a people rewarded Halle Berry with an Oscar. As a matter of fact, she was the first African-American female to receive an Oscar for Best Actress in the history of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. So I want to talk about that issue in the context of my analysis of Monsters Ball, because Monsters Ball and Precious, because both of those films were produced and directed by the same person. Both, both of those films were an assault to the consciousness of black folk. And if you don't know that you're being insulted, assaulted and insulted, then that means that you open the door for further insults. So, of the issues that I'm going to raise tonight, the most critical issue is us learning to become critical thinkers. So begin, before I begin this presentation, 
I want to do a, a basic survey and just find out from those of you who are here in the audience, how many of you all saw Precious? Raise your hands, please. All right. How many of you all like the movie? One. Oh, that's cool. I mean, don't, don't be embarrassed. You know, one person, all right? How many of you all found the film disturbing? Okay, good. So, I want to talk about why the film was disturbing to you, me, and other people. I want to talk about why some folk liked it. And what the issues are that we should be examining when it comes to any film, any television program, any media that we consume, whether we watch it, listen to it, or participate in it, it affects us on multiple levels. So before I begin my analysis and my critique of the movie Precious, I want to share some of the criticism and, and praise for the movie that has been expressed by uh, columnists, by film critics, and social commentators. Uh, a number of people have, um, have written about this film, talked about this film. So it's important to hear what they had to say and then factor their words and their thoughts into our analysis so that we can see if we're off base, off base or if there's really something of substance to their arguments. So let's begin with um, Mary Mitchell, who is a columnist for the uh, Chicago Sun-Times, wrote an article entitled Precious Little Patience for Black Exploitation. Uh, she said that I'm not in denial about incest, rape, and child abuse. But Precious is a compilation of all of the horror stories that have ever been told. For nearly two decades, she's covered some of the worst stories imaginable in Chicago. And right now, I don't know if you all have been following the news, but in my hometown, Chicago, they're considering sending in the National Guard to the black community because of the murders, the crimes that we have been committing against one another. The police say we can't handle it. The politicians say we can't handle it. The, the, the parents of the children say we can't handle them. So they're going to call in the National Guard to patrol our children, to patrol our streets, because we have not done the job that we should have. And so this reporter from Chicago said that she hasn't heard a horror story that comes close to what is being offered in Precious. In his latest work, she says, Lee Daniels, the African-American director and producer who was behind Monster's Ball, is feeding cultural voyeurism. Powerful statement. <coughs> But it has meaning and significance. Let's look at another um, article written by Anthony Smith. Precious fails the black community. The film is, a dangerous, is as dangerous as it is offensive. And it is not representative of any community, past or present. The narrative about a young, unloved victim is intellectually and socially dishonest. Daniels relies on overly objectionable imagery and perverse cinematic devices to provoke emotion from the audience, all the while offering no true explanation of events, no link between cause and effect, no solution, no opportunity to deliberate, just action. Vile, disgusting, and inhumane acts of violence, apathy, abuse, and rape. That's what we saw. That's what he gave the world. That's what he showed the world about this black family. Moreover, he says, Daniels, through the cinematic uh, tendencies of executive producers, Tyler Perry, equates light-skinned black characters as friendly, virtuous saviors working to counteract the ugly, evil, stupid, and animal-like dark-skinned characters. We're going to talk about that because it's real and it's worth discussing in an intelligent and critical way. Another writer, Corlin Malloy, the Washington Post, wrote an article entitled, A Film as Lost as the Girl It Glorifies. Now that I've seen the movie Precious based on the novel pushed by Sapphire, I'm all the more bewildered by its enthusiastic reception, especially in the white media. The Huffington Post raved this is a film that doesn't shy away from the depths to which human beings can sink. You would think the film was a documentary. The New York Times featured the movie as a cover story last month and declared, Precious is a stand-in for anyone, black or white, 
male or female, who has ever been devalued or underestimated.